And here we go guys with another mailbag video for today. So I ordered a few stuff and looks like uh, they shows up on the mail. And before they pile, piling up so many, I will gonna say let's open these ones. So I'm gonna kind of start with that one. And uh, this one I received it on uh, 9th July. And if we give it open to see what's inside. Okay, so it's empty. So this one is a speaker terminal connector for for an amplifier, which I, as I say, I have, uh, if you don't sell that mailbag video, I'm gonna put it here. When I find that very cheap amplifier on eBay as a spare or repair that was not working the item and uh, I ordered it for the chassis to make a project inside. So I don't decide yet what I'm gonna do. So in case if my build an amplifier inside, I need a speaker terminal. So this is the speaker terminal for uh, that project. So let's see now how much I pay on this uh, item and how fast moved over here. So the speaker terminals, I ordered it on 3 July, so 7 days delivery, which is really cool. I pay a total of 0 0.70 pence on. So let's have a look at the listing. So this is the listing. You can choose between just two pins. You can choose between uh, three pins. So you can see here there is uh, one black, uh, one red and one white. The one that I ordered with the uh, four pins, the four pins different... Uh, design over there again the two pins that mostly you can use for speakers these ones probably for the speaker cabinet and again another one that mostly use it for speaker cabinet the price is really cheap and here you have also all the dimensions that you need to understand when you make the hole where to pose uh, to mount it and yeah it's costing cheap quick delivery and the link on the description down below Okay, so let's have a look to the second item, which is also that one, a small one. I think there is some description underneath, but I cannot read it, so let's open. By the way, this one I received it on uh, 12th July. And have a look over there what I have. That's empty. So here we go, this one's uh, some... Uh, connector banana connector and i ordered this one for my uh soldering station the two f two the t245 which i built it because uh, i think uh, there is two pins because another pin connecting to a different pin on the controller uh, board and i think when you touch that uh, that pin with the tip it will gonna say that uh, goes in standby to change the tool i'm pretty sure so that's why i ordered this one to can match so let me see if it's matching the same uh, same connector that uh, the whole the, the soldering stand have Okay, so this is the soldering stand because I was using uh, from two wire here different connector because one is connected to this where you change the tool and one is connected here. So that's why I want to make sure that this one is the same size. Oh yeah, so I'm going to modify my um, soldering station and I'm going to put one of these connector like that. I'm going to solder the pins in different location on the controller board. Like that I'm pretty sure when I'm changing the tool, the the, the iron tip it will gonna show me on the display that is changing the tool we're gonna see so let's see now how much i pay for this uh, i think believe are five pieces here five, five pieces of these connectors and how fast they moved over here so the connectors uh, i ordered it on 3 july so 10 uh, days delivery for five pieces i pay a total of 0 0.03 pence <laughs> It's really cool. I don't know how that happened because the price is £1.04, but I pay a total of 0 0.03. So let's have a look at the listing. So the listing, it says clear, £1.04, and, and depend of uh, which type you want, is changing the price over there. Here are some nice few pictures. Some other people, they bought them. Uh, a few of them, they say that uh, there is some problem with them, but... Uh, I test them so it's working for my uh, my appliance like uh, for that soldering station and if you are interested I'm gonna put the link on the description down below okay so let's see the next one which are almost empty I don't feel nothing nothing inside what can be if we open definitely we're gonna see what's inside ah empty 
So these one are the foam for the soldering uh, iron uh, handle. So I get this one, so let me just uh, show you a bit. So you can see the T245 soldering handle has this nice foam over here. And I get uh, these ones to add also that, uh, that the T12, because uh, my soldering station uh, recognizes now also the T12, also the T245. So I can use uh, both of them. So that's why I order to add also this one over here, to have also this one a nice foam uh, handle. And uh, a little bit different. This one is a bit thick. Uh, this one is really soft, really soft. So I'm going to try to put that one. So let me see if I can undo this one and try to put that one on to see how it looks like. So definitely it's going to go. I need to do a little bit of, uh, put a bit of grease over there in order to slide very easy. Actually, stay a second because I can remove that one and I can put straight away this one. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to look cool, right? Definitely it's going to really look cool. So if you go this one, you need to make sure that that one, it will going to go on the top. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look forward to see how I can uh, manage to make it uh, stay really fit on it. So, yeah, I ordered those one for this uh, soldering handle. Too much the same like the two T245. So let's see now how much I pay on and how fast they moved over here. So the phone for soldering handle, I uh, ordered it uh, on 3 July, so 10 days delivery. I pay a total of £1.22 and uh, here is the listing. So you can say two pieces for JBC245, two pieces for JBC210 and two pieces full set. So I don't know what that means, two pieces, two full set. Maybe one of this and one of this. I don't know what that one, but I ordered 245. So if we go down... In Anything to say about heat insulation plastic cover for the JBC 210245 handle foam, JBC heat insulation plastic cover, nothing to say, too many, it's ergonomic and short distance tip to grip, also help work with high accuracy and comfort. Soft foam grips ensure a better manual control of the tool and greater comfort when working. Easily replace the damaged grips using the fitters which are included. Bon. Anyway, if you are interested in such a thing, I'm gonna put the link on the description down below. And here we go, we get to the last item, which I received it also this one on 12th July. And looks like it's a box and um, has a bit of weight on. Here it says something on it, it says DC 19 to 50 volts, TPA 3255, audio file, hi-fi digital audio amplifier. So practically, if it's that one inside, it's a class D amplifier. And how the listing says, based on TPA 3255, which is quite powerful. So I ordered this one to give a try, to see if it's really how they say there. And I saw a few other videos on uh, YouTube that uh, they say that it's a really good amplifier that can handle up to 150 watts, which I'm pretty sure I will not expect that power from it, because 150 watts only with 50 volts, because it's just 50 volts power supply, let's see. But I don't know if you can manage to power with 50 watts. I like see we're going to power at 48 volts. 48 force to get 150 watts uh, power RMS into 4 ohm, I am pretty sure will not do it, will not deliver with that voltage. Imagine a class B to deliver 100 watts, you power it with plus minus 45 volts, so it's almost 90 volts in total. And this one just with the one single rail power supply, 48 volts, it's capable of that. I'm pretty sure it will not be, but we're gonna see when I'm gonna build, when we're gonna do a video on testing and reviewing this board and if uh, surprise me then why not this one with this one with that case I'm gonna build a nice class D amplifier so let's see now how much I pay on this board and how fast moved over here so this is the class D amplifier the TPA 3255 audio amplifier and I ordered on 3 July so this means 10 days delivery for a total of 15 pounds 46 and if we go to the listings we are gonna see that the price is costing 13 pounds 73 and there is some uh, tax to UK when you order it to be shipped to UK here it says everything almost about it how to connect it and on the description you can see a lot of people they are happy with this board they 
they order a lot of them. You can see here they put some picture how they build also them amplifiers. On descriptions, what we have here, we have some parameters. So amplifier IC TPA3255 chip. The input is a stereo wired socket interface, three pins, operating efficiency 90%, output power 315 watts in 4 ohm with 1.5 distortion, 185 watts in 8 ohm distortion 1.5, 260 watts for a, a 4 ohm distortion 1%. I don't want all that distortion. I will is building an amplifier with 0, uh, 0 something distortion. I'm gonna try it to test it to see if impress me. Okay, if it doesn't impress me, it will gonna be just a testing a review video and let you know, guys, if it's good to buy or just leave it there and try to build a different amplifier. I'm gonna put anyway also the link on the description down below. And here we go, we reach to the end of this uh, mailbag video 46. So the audio amplifier class D is just curiosity to see how it sounds and if it sounds how they claim also in YouTube that is really nice and deliver also enough power. So we we're gonna see a nice video about this one, we're gonna do a review to see how it sounds. And if, as I say, if uh, it will gonna surprise me, I'm gonna might build an amplifier class D amplifier. This one's for my uh, T245 and T12 soldering station to have a foam also on the T12 uh, handle. This one same for the same soldering station to do that connector to make to to see if when I change the tool it will gonna show me changing tool on display because what I saw one one wire from these two you need to solder in different place on the uh, PCB controller board definitely should do something else. Well, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, and this one same. If I might build that amplifier to have the terminal uh, speaker connection on the case. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and activate notification bell for my next projects. Until the next time, guys, have a good day and bye bye.